Benefiting the Crossroads Center for Children. Heat race number one on the speedway now on the inside of row number one. Driving in the Auto Palace, car number one, that's gonna be Eric Mack, a winner Friday night at the Albany Saratoga Speedway. And up to the outside of him in the SNS Asphalt Paving, car number 115, that's Chip Constantino. Inside row number two, car number 307, that's Jordan Gracer. And up to the outside of him in car number 438, a former sportsman winner. That is Nick Scavia. Row number three on the inside, Albany Saratoga Speedway promoter Lyle DeVore with the car number 61 and up to the outside of him, the twister in car number 405 is Travis Whitbeck. Final row starting on the inside of the Boston Spa with the Pizza Logs, car number one, and that is Mike Coffey Jr. And up to the outside of him, slated to go shotgun on the field right now, car number 79 is Owen Weiss. The problems for DeVore, he ducks into the infield and now back up onto the raceway. And he will go ahead and pull back up in the line. As we look for green, this time by at a turn number four, the Sunflower 50 is underway. Down to the turn number one, Eric Mack gonna be the early race leader. Constantino in the number two spot and Scavia is third. Here's Whitbeck, Whitbeck on the outside of Jordan Grazer, battle for the number four spot right now. And Whitbeck gonna go the long way around Jordan Grazer to take the fourth spot away. Eric Mack, the race leader. Constantino trying to close in on him. Scavia is still third. Scavia, veteran of the go-kart ranks. That's how he got his start in racing. Currently riding in the number three spot. Battle back there for fifth. Coffee on the outside of Jordan Grazer. They're side by side down the back straightaway. Headed to the turn for three. Already at the halfway point. Coffee around the outside of Grazer to take the five spot away. Eric Mack still out in front. The Auto Palace car number one. Leading the way over Chip Constantino. Constantino trying to close the gap, but he's been unsuccessful. Already looking at lap traffic. Owen Weiss. Just ahead of your leaders with two laps to go this time by. Hang on, Nick Scavia. Scavia gets up into the hay bales. He will continue on and now trouble for Mike Coffey. So yellow is out. Mike Coffey catching a billboard and the sunflowers up there in turn number three is going to bring yellow out on the speedway with just a couple laps left to go here in heat race number one. I'd like to take a minute to draw your attention to the donation box located just behind the speaker here on the front straightaway. All 100% of the proceeds go into the Crossroads Center for Children. And your donations are appreciated. Also, like to take a minute and recognize some of the great sponsors coming on board today Four Wide Media, Ed McCollum Trucking, BB, the Short Track Super Series Fantasy Football League. DH Graphics, Done Better Pools and Spas. Seven Place Tire Axe, Bosco the Don, Swagger Factory Apparel, Dry Zone Racing Development. Tommy D'Angelo Racing, Kelly's Meat Market, 
and so many more we'll be highlighting throughout the day. Getting ready to go back to green with Eric Mack and Chip Constantino on the front. The green flag is back out in heat race number one for the Sunflower 50. Down the back, straight away into turn number three. Mack going to show the way. White flag is out. One lap left around the high tower from Speedway. Eric Mack driving away with it. Here's Whitbeck. Whitbeck looking to the inside of Constantino. Constantino going to slam the door, and Eric Mack picks up the win. Chip Constantino second. Travis Whitbeck third. Nick Scavia fourth. Out of East Greenbush, New York, and the Swagger Factory Apparel. Done better pool since Boz. Car number 21H. It's the thrilling David Schilling. Schilling going to go from the inside of row number one up to the outside of him in car number 69. That's going to be Colin Ainsworth. And on the inside of row number two, the yellow and orange, car number 51, that's Riley Gill. Excuse me, Brady Gill. Check that. Brady Gill in car number 51. Up on the outside of him in car number 74, the Hightower Farms Perry Sunflower Maze entry. That's Matt Perry. Back on the inside of row number three, car number 26 on the inside of the lead. That's going to be Cole Nelson. And up to the outside of him in car number four is Brian Nelson. Green flag back out. He race number two for the Sunflower 50 is underway. And here comes Cole Nelson up the inside. Matt Perry in trouble. Yellow lights are on. Matt Perry into the billboards up there in turn number three. It's going to bring out the second yellow of the afternoon. Perry knocks out the Dunbetter Pools and Spas billboard along with the Ronnie Johnson 2RJ billboard, the seven plates tire rack billboard, and the Derek McGrew racing billboard. The Derek McGrew, Harry Schaefer combined billboard up there. So the first couple of billboards will follow the afternoon. The white flag is out. Going green next time, bye. So the front row already communicating how they're going to tackle the restart. David Schilling on the inside, Brady Gill on the outside. They're banging doors right here in front. Hang on. Schilling gets dumped down here in turn number one. So Gill and David Schilling come together. Schilling gets turned around. And that brings Yellow out on the speedway once again. Schilling in trouble down here. The steering column looks to be broken aboard the Swagger Factory Apparel. Done better pools and spas. Car number 21H. The steering column no longer supported up there on the top end. <laughs> and that'll send Schilling to the pit area and force him to run the B main if he can get the car fixed for a little bit later on this afternoon. So tentatively, that'll hand the lead off to Jill. Brady Gill, the number 51, gonna be the leader here on a single file restart. Cole Nelson is second, Colin Ainsworth and Matt Perry, and Brian Nelson rounding out the field here as we get ready to come back to Joe Chris's green flag. Back underway here at heat race number two. Down to turn number one, they go. Big slip for Nelson. Here's Ainsworth to the inside. Battle for second. Perry trying to get in on the action as well. Brady Gill running away with it right now. And here comes Matt Perry. Matt Perry to the inside of Cole Nelson. That's for spot number three. Nelson on the crossover, no good. And now Perry will set his sights on Colin Ainsworth. Perry trying to work around Colin Ainsworth right now. He's looking at the high side and now he tries to turn underneath him. Ainsworth gonna shut the door when they go down the back straightaway. Halfway down, halfway to go this time by. Perry outside, Ainsworth inside. Ainsworth slides up the racetrack and shuts the door on Matt Perry. 
Perry still trying to find a way around, gonna run momentum on the outside of Ainsworth. A car length separates them now, two laps to go this time by. Keep your eyes on the battle for a second. Colin Ainsworth has it, Matt Perry right there on the back bumper down the back straight away, gonna apply the pressure now. Perry nudges him out of the way and takes the spot back and Ainsworth dumps him. Matt Perry gonna go around and that's gonna bring Yellow out on the speedway. And Colin Ainsworth is gonna be sent to the tail for contact with Matt Perry. So Rob Perry made the call, nothing wrong with that. As uh, on the inside of row number one with the DKM fabrication special, car number 31, Dumont gonna fire off from the pole. Up to the outside of him, car number 44 is Rocco Constantino. And back on the inside of row number two, car number 23, that's Jack Spishock, a modified feature event winner this year at Albany, Saratoga. Double zero M, a Tomek Kowalski, I butchered that one. Kowalski, I should say, starting fourth. And on the inside of row number three, last year's winner is Mark Mortensen. The 55 is Jeremy Miller, the 234 is Brandon Jackson, and the X is E.J. McCollum as we go to green here in heat race number three. Johnny Dumont, the early leader, hang on Miller. Jeremy Miller in the infield, and that's gonna bring out a yellow. And now trouble for Rocco Constantino at the same time. So I believe the chain has fallen off of Constantino's automobile. Uh, they were ducking and diving here on lap number one. Looks like already some damage on the Kowalski machine. John Dumont will be the leader when they go back to green. And it looks like Speed Shock is gonna be outside of him in car number 23. Mark Mortensen again, last year's winner, had to go through the B main, but was clearly the fastest card all day long. Brandon Jackson in the 234 as we go back to green. And they're already going at it. Hang on, Speed Shock. Speed Shock right into the next generation roofing billboard, but we stay green down the back stretch. John Dumont out in front. Mark Morrison is second. Brandon Jackson is third right now. Jeremy Miller up to fourth and Kowalski fifth. Hang on, Miller. Mark Morrison on the back bumper of Dumont at the halfway point and now forcing his way to the inside. Dumont trying to shut the door. Morrison trying to fight alongside and he turns him. Yellow lights are on. Dumont and Morrison come together. And to the tail will go Johnny Dumont. So Dumont and Mark Morrison fighting. And Dumont gonna go up there and Make it understood to Mark Morrison that he's not exactly thrilled with what transpired to bring out the yellow. So that'll put Brandon Jackson in the lead aboard car number 234. Jeremy Miller up to second, the Kowalski third. Speed shock back to fourth, Dumont fifth, and Morrison gonna be sixth when they come back to green this time. Here is Mark Morrison looking to take the long way around everybody. Not gonna work that time. Brandon Jackson gonna come around and lead the lap, and here's Morrison once again on the back door of John Dumont. Here's Dumont to the inside of Speed shock. That's for fourth and looking to take third from Miller now with two laps left to run. Morrison still glued to the back bumper of Dumont's automobile as the white flag is out this time. One lap left to go. Jackson still the leader. Kowalski second, Miller and Dumont slamming down the back straightaway and here's Morrison. Checkers are out. 
the win will go to Brandon Jackson. Toma Kowalski will be second. And up to the outside of him, the 223, that's Brandon Cruz. Matt Kelly, go-kart racing regular inside row number two with the Matt Kelly racing car number 68. And up to the outside of him in the 03, that is Ryan Pepicelli. Row three on the inside, the 12A, the Jumpin' Jacks Pro Speed car, that is Travis Colgrove. And up to the outside of him, the zero, that is Dave Constantino. Final row, Paul Negus and Kyle McCullough in the 23. As we go back to green, hang on, Matt Kelly. And it's a pile up in turn number three. Matt Kelly turns himself around and collects Paul Negus with the number six. Travis Colgrove with the 12A. The 23 of McAuliffe. And the 223 of Brandon Cruz. So Chavis will be the leader on the restart. Ryan Pepicelli going to be lined up second. And Dave Constantino, part owner of DKM Fabrication, going to line up third with a tribute to the Morrisburg, Tennessee driver, Scott Bloomquist. Paul Nega is sitting fourth right now. Kyle McCullough riding in the fifth spot. Andrew recruits right behind him as they work on getting Matt Kelly up and running again. Continuing to look at some of the uh, fantastic sponsors of today's racing action, TV12 Racing Products, Scott Hamlin Racing, Speed and Supply, Next Generation Siding, Paving and Roofing, The Parks Companies Incorporated, Albany Saratoga Speedway, M2 Metal LLC, Rasco Racing, Terrell Racing, MC Pressure Washing and Auto Detailing, Holmes and Kugler's Towing, CT Transportation, Matt Kelly Racing, AmberWaterPros.com, Smith Excavating and Paving, the Moody Tree Farm. So it's up break for Matt Kelly. He sits in the infield as we get ready to go back to green with Matt Chavis and Ryan Pepicelli. Green flag is back out. Chavis going to lead the way down the back straightaway. Battle for third spot right now. Paul Neek is trying to take it away from Dave Constantino. Diamond Dave holding down the Ford in third right now. Trying to stretch his legs and get away from Negan. Behind them, Kyle McCullough runs fifth. Andrew Fruit sixth. And right now, seventh spot to Travis Goldrum. Here's Negus with a good run to the inside of Constantino. They're side by side, and now Negus makes the pass. So that relegates Constantino to spot number four right now. Matt Chavis about to run into lap traffic, and Travis Coldwell just pulls into the infield. Two laps to go this time by for Chavis. Pepicelli second. Third is Paul Negus. Constantino trying to come back at him. White flag this time by. Checkered flag. Matt Chavis stomps him with a relative ease here in heat race number four. Ryan Pepicelli second. Negus is third. Constantino fourth. Kyle McCullough, Andrew Prutz. Going from the inside of row number one in car number 67, that's Ray Poole. So Poole gonna go from the inside of the first row with the next generation roofing automobile. 
And up to the outside of him, the Brian Pesolano lookalike car. That is Michael Monte. The 292. Marty Poole. The next generation roofing automobile and up to the outside of him and the win one is Tanner Warner. Shotgun on the field, Tyler Ducharme in the Ducharme speed car number 25. Green flag down into turn number one. Here comes Tanner Warner, the tan man up the inside, down the back straight away. Tanner Warner on the move and here we go. Ray Poole and Marty Poole out front right now. Tanner Warner in the number three spot trying to close in. Close in he is. Closing in in a hurry. Now looking to the inside to pull down the back straight away. Here comes Tanner Warner. Bang and wheel put Marty Poole to take the second spot away. Hang on, Marty. The yellow lights are on. Marty Poole doubles down on the advertising for Next Generation Roofing by piloting the Next Generation Roofing car straight through the Next Generation Roofing billboard. And that brings out the yellow. here in what I believe is the fifth and final heat race for the Sunflower 50. We'll have the last chance qualifying races coming up in just a little bit. And a tough break for Michael Monte, the Dawson Construction car number 24. Retiring to the infield for the balance of this one. So that's going to leave us with four here. Great pool and Tanner Warner. Keep your eyes on Warner. Fastest card on the racetrack right now. We're going to look to probably use the outside lane to scoot right around pool on this restart as we come back to green. Warner going to do exactly that, but here comes pool fighting back on the inside lane. So Ray Poole, the leader, slips up a little bit at the halfway point. Warner looking underneath him, but can't quite make it work. And now trouble for Ducharme. So Ducharme is in trouble, and that's going to bring out the yellow. Tyler Ducharme stopped on the back straightaway. So Ray Poole fending off the challenge from Tanner Warner on that restart. And then a yellow comes out for mechanical problems on Ducharme's automobile. So white flag is out, then there were three. We'll go green next time by out of turn number four with Ray Poole, Tanner Warner, and Marty Poole in the 292. Head starter Joe Chris, high atop the flag stand, and look the field over to green flag back out in the air. Down in the turn number one, Ray Poole ripping around the Hightower Farm Speedway. Two laps left to go for Poole. Warner running in the number two spot, and Marty Poole trying to close in on him from third. White flag is out this time by one lap left to go. For Ray Poole, Tanner Warner, and oh my goodness, Dave Constantino is on the racetrack. Checkered flag is out. Ray Poole going to win it over Tanner Warner and Marty Poole. The only three to finish a battle of attrition in the fifth and final heat race for the Sunflower 50. So the consolation race is coming up next. Once again, I'd like, again like to thank some of the great sponsors of today's racing events and all the proceeds going to the Crossroads Center for Children. The folks at the Moody Tree Farm, Smith Excavating and Paving, Matt Kelly Racing, JMB Trucking, Amber Water Pros, Max Stables and Lambs Masonry and Contracting, Carroll's Transportation, Holmes and Kugler's Towing, Nikki Davis Realty, MC Pressure Washing and Auto Detailing, Terrell Racing, Rasco Racing, M2 Metal LLC, Harvey's Pet, Albany Saratoga Speedway, Next Generation Roofing, Paving and Siding, Parks Companies Incorporated, Scott Hamlin Racing, Speed and Supply, TV12 Race Products, Clayton DeMond Racing, 
Main Street Auto Repair, Kelly's Meat Market, Tommy D'Angelo Racing, Nancy Bobar Realty, Dry Zone Racing Development, Bosco the Dawn. So the top three finishers in each of the five heat races have already transferred to the Sunflower 50. We're going to take four out of each of the next two last chance qualifiers. And here's how they'll line up for Conce number one. On the inside of the number 438, that is Nick Scavia. And up to the outside of him in car number 55 is Jeremy Miller. Colin Ainsworth on the inside of row number two with car number 69. And up to the outside of him in the 21H, that's the thrilling David Schilling. Inside row three, car number 24, feed the dots of construction entry, that's Michael Monte. And up to the outside of him in the X, that is E.J. McCollin. Brady Gill in car number 51. And now trouble for Andrew Krutz right here in front. The decan fabrication, car number 223 for Andrew Krutz. And now Mike Monty's got problems. Monty in the Riley Mortuary. Dodds of Construction, Big Down Racing Products, car number 24B. A lookalike to the car that Monty works on Sunday nights at the Glen Ridge Motorsports Park, a recent 358 modified feature event winner up there, Brian Pesolano. And can't quite get Monty fired off. for Monty, he's not going to be able to go. So it'll be Nick Scavey and Jeremy Miller first row ahead of Brady Gill and the thrilling David Schilling. Remember uh, remember those guys from a little bit earlier on in qualifying? Keep your eyes on them. Colin Ainsworth and E.J. McAuliffe in row three. There goes Michael Monty. And Andrew Fruits as well in the 223. Top four to the Sunflower 50, the third annual race for the cause at the Crossroads Center for Children. Head starter Joe Chris waves the green flag and we're underway. Down to the turn number one they go. Early leader will be Scavia. Now here comes Schilling. Schilling inside of Ainsworth for spot number four. Jeremy Miller going to go wide, and that's going to open the door for Schilling. Schilling on the back door. A Gill, hang on, Ainsworth. Colin Ainsworth goes around as well as Jeremy Miller right here in front. And that's going to bring Yellow back out on the speedway. I'd like to take a quick moment to remind you about our 50-50 raffle. Well over $800 at this point. The tickets are available over at the Perry Sunflower Maze food stand with the chips and drinks available to get your 50-50 raffle tickets right there. 100% of the proceeds going to the Crossroads Center for Children. Nick Scavia and Brady Gill on the front row. David Schilling and E.J. McCullough. Andrew Krutz, Mike Monty, Colin Ainsworth. Jeremy Miller back underway. Down to the turbo one. Schilling going to muscle his way past Gill and the yellow lights are back on. Mike Monty goes around and that's going to bring the yellow back out on the speedway. Now here comes the race director. They're trying to get a hold of Brady Gill it looks like for something. <laughs> Not sure what. But Dumont's got the duct tape out over there. And it looks like they're trying to make sure the bumper stays fastened. Right 
So a quick fix for Gil. Early in this one, the leader all the way has been the 438 of Nick Scavia. Brady Gill continuing to run in that number two spot as we go back to green. Schilling on the inside, Gill on the outside, here comes David Schilling. Schilling up the inside of Scavia. Scavia tries to slam the door, they're muscling down the front straightaway. Schilling gonna take the lead away. Scavia trying to get down, but Brady Gill has filled the hole. Gill and Scavia side by side for second. Scavia on the crossover and a great move by Nick Scavia. Yellow, trouble. E.J. McAuliffe in the X-Mobile. Flying into the billboards down there in turn number one. So McAuliffe with the X-Built, DKM Fabrication X-Machine brings out the yellow, the amberwaterpros.com. Carroll's transportation among the billboards affected down there in turn number one. Just barely missed the Smith excavating and paving billboard. Now we're going to get set to re-rack them and do it again. Conce number one for the third annual Sunflower 50 race for the cause, benefiting the Crossroads Center for Children. Looking to get back underway here. Once again, taking a look at the billboards, those that are still standing anyways, and some of the fine folks that have brought sponsorship to today's event. Again, all the proceeds going to the Crossroads Center for Children. TV 12 race products, Scott Hamlin Racing, Next Generation Ceiling Paving and Roofing. Albany Saratoga Speedway, the Parks Companies Incorporated, M2 Metal LLC. Rasco Racing, Terrell Racing, MC Pressure Washing and Auto Detailing, Homes and Coolers Towing, many more as the green flag comes back out. And at a turn number one, David Schilling going to lead the way here. Nick Scavia, Brady Gill, Colin Ainsworth. Those are your top four right now. They'll transfer to the Sunflower 50. Andrew Cruz trying to get by Jeremy Miller for fifth spot at the halfway point. DJ McCollin trying to go from the field to the show. Oh, and he gets into the back of Andrew Cruz. The group gets turned around by McCollin, backs it right into the Albany Saratoga Speedway billboard down there. And E.J. McAuliffe, who was in the Sunflowers a minute ago, trying to take it from one field to another, go from the Sunflower field to the starting field for the Sunflower 50. I got a little bit aggressive there, got into the back of Andrew Cruz, pushed him right around. Cruz again backed right into the billboards over there. The Albany Saratoga Speedway and the Next Generation Roofing Billboard. So the white flag is out, gonna go green next time by. It's still David Schilling and Nick Scavia. A couple of go-kart veterans. Brady Gill is third, Colin Ainsworth is fourth. He's the man on the bubble. Top four transfer to the Sunflower 50 and the green flag is back out. away by Gill and that's not the way to do it. Ainsworth went wide and that cost him some time as Jeremy Miller trying to reel him in and punch his ticket into the big show but Miller goes wide. Jeremy Miller opening the door for McCollum to take this with two laps left to go here and the yellow's out. Yellow lights are on for Jeremy Miller. Miller will call it a day and pull down into the infield. Miller went from trying to track down Colin Ainsworth for the final transfer spot to being out of this one.
Nick Stavia all over the back bumper of David Schilling. Does he have anything to say about the finish of this Wisconsin? Top four to the Sunflower 50. Keep your eyes on McCollum. Can he get by Ainsworth for the spot? Green coming back out, and there's Scavia. He moves Schilling. Schilling's got damage now. White flag is out. Gill trying to get by. Schilling going to block the bottom. Ainsworth around the outside. Gill gets by. Fight for the last transfer spot. It's going to go. Oh, I don't know. I think McCollum got it. I think McAuliffe got it. Scavia made contact on the restart with David Schilling. The damage, the body work on Schilling's automobile and clearly hurt the speed. I'm not sure if he had a tire rub or what, but Schilling resigned to block the bottom. Colin Ainsworth charging on the outside. McAuliffe on the inside. Brady Gill in the mix. And what a race here in Kotze number one for the Sunflower. Two on the raceway now. It's anyone's guess what's going on. Matt Perry with the Hightower Farms. Perry Sunflower Maze, car number 74, going to start inside row number one. Up to the outside of him. Driving in the Scott Bloomquist zero car is Dave Constantino. The 307 is Jordan Grazer and the one, the Pizza Longs automobile. That's Mike Coffey Jr. I think he was fifth. I think McAuliffe got it. $500 donation to the Crossroads Center for Children. All right. I'll, I'll mention it. Uh, get a hold of get a hold of Rob, the tall guy with the black shirt. And we're underway. Yeah, hey, yellow lights are on. Uh oh. So, as I mentioned, it looked like EJ McAuliffe got the final transfer spot in Concy number one. And I was just paid a visit by Carl Schilling. Carl told me that he would pay the $500 donation to the Crossroads Center for Children to buy into the Sunflower 50. So a huge thank you goes out to Carl Schilling, and that'll put his son David in the race with a $500 donation to the Crossroads Center for Children. Matt Perry, Dave Constantino, Mike Coffey Jr., John Dumond, your top four. Top four transfer, Jack Spieshock, Travis Colengrove, Owen Weiss in the 79. Lyle DeVore in the 61, Jordan Grazer the 307, Rocco Constantino, out in the 44 as the green flag is out. Bumping and jamming for third spot. The race leader on lap one is going to be Matt Perry. Perry showing the way. Constantino and Coffey rounding out the podium. Now here's Dumont to the inside of Jack Spisha. So Dumont takes the final transfer spot right here as Constantino zeroes in on high, wide, and handsome Mr. Matt Perry. Perry running the top. Constantino taking the shortest way around at the halfway point. And there goes Diamond Dave to the front. Perry second, Coffey third. Hang on, Lyle DeVore's in the infield. John Dumont still fourth and final transfer spot. Fifth is Jack Spishock, sixth is Travis Goldrow, Jordan Grazer is seventh. And now here's Matt Perry to the inside of Dave Constantino for the lead with two laps left to run. Constantino trying to run the bottom. Yellow, yellow's out, yellow is out. Travis Colgrove, Lyle DeVore, and Owen Weiss. A three car incident down there in turn number three has brought the yellow back out. So DeVore into the billboards. We'll see if we can figure out which ones he got. It looks like the Swagger Factory Apparel billboard being one of them. Owen Weiss gonna be dragged to the infield as uh, 
broken tie rods and or spindle on the left front or the right front, something in the front end where those tires are not facing the same direction as one another. That either got this, one of the spindles or one of the tie rods up in the front of Owen Weiss's automobile. And that's gonna be the end of his day. Matt Perry, the race leader right now, Dave Constantino, Diamond Dave running in the number two spot in the Team Zero entry. Right now, Mike Coffey in the Pizza Logs car, he runs third. John Dumont is fourth. Fifth right now is Jack Spishock outside looking in. Top four will transfer to the feature. Green flag back out in the air, cops seat number two. Matt Perry, the leader, Spishock trying to hustle Dumont as the white flag comes out. Dumont not having any of it. One more time around the High Tower Farm Speedway. Big push for Spishock, but it doesn't matter. Checkered flag is out. Matt Perry, Dave Constantino, Mike Coffey Jr., John Dumont are all in. The Sunflower 50, Jordan Grazer, Jack Spishock, Travis Colgrove, and Lyle DeVore are out. All right, so it's time for the redraw for the Sunflower 50. Top 10 drivers, the top two at each heat race. Out here on the front straightaway, and the first guy we got to talk to, the winner of heat race number one, the Fort Johnson, New York driver, of car number one is Eric Mack, and Eric, a winner Friday at Albany, Saratoga. The question everyone wants to know is, are you actually in good enough shape to turn 20 laps around here consecutively, let alone 50? I don't know, I don't think there's much left. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta pull a number out of the bucket. We'll see where you're gonna start, so go ahead and let's see what you got there. I want number 10. He wants number 10, we'll see if he gets his wish. He's got 52. So Mac will start 52nd. No, we're just kidding. We'll try again. Nobody started. Well, we got no idea what chips are in the bucket. All the blue and red out. All the blue and red So you got a long way to go. You got to pass 51 cars before you're going to be at the front. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. I'll start last. I don't care. We're going to try to find. Uh, Okay. Try to find the chips that are numbered one through 10 here. Five times two is 10, so in a way you got your wish. Well, we'll wait for, uh, we'll wait for the chips to get settled here in the bucket. And we'll once again remind everybody that the 50-50 at last count was approaching $1,000. And the tickets can be purchased for that right over there at the chips and soda table. 100% of the proceeds going to benefit the Crossroads Center for Children as well as the donation box just behind this speaker here on the front straightaway. Right, Eric. We're ready, Once man. again, 100% of the proceeds for the Crossroads Center for Children. <laughs> Eric Mack in the bucket, what's he got? Wow. Eric Mack will start third. He will start third in the Sunflower 50 today. Eric Mack in car number one, he starts third. Chip Constantino, where you at, brother? Come on over here, Chip. This is what they wrote down, so. Chip Constantino, well, hang on, Chip. Don't get greedy. We've got to talk to you for a minute here. Well, it's too late. That's what you get for bypassing the interview. Chip starts 10th. Chip Constantino will start 10th. Chip, uh, what do you think? Uh, you had a pretty good year this year. I felt like you were you were pretty consistent. Average. Uh, you were average, we were but average. listen, you just got back into racing last year. So um, at last I talked to you, you were getting out again. Oh, uh, Where are we at now? We're, we're, we're staying in, trying to get my daughter more involved. She's going to take over next year and the sportsman, so I mean, I'm just gonna be wrenching again. There you go, Chip yep. Constantino. Next year got big plans, but today he's got a start tent in the Sunflower 50. Oh, yeah, right. Brady Gill, Brady Gill, where are you at? Come on over, Brady. <laughs> Brady Gill in the 51. Brady reaching into the bucket and pull a number. He's gonna start spot five. number five. Brady, come on over here. You're not getting off that easy. <laughs> Listen, uh, for, I was gonna say a little, pretty long ride over here for you today. What do you think? Uh, was a long ride down here, got three hours, so. I, uh, I've been having a lot of fun, so uh, I think we'll come back next year. Well, we saw you having a little discussion with some sign language in the heat race with David Schilling. What was that about? I don't know. Uh, Dave just drove down to the corner and forgot to turn, must be, and got some help getting him around, so. 
I don't know. He, uh, I think he got in the show, so everything's all good. Well, there you go. Brady Gill, he starts fifth in the Sunflower 50. The thrilling David Schilling is right. Another victim, uh, Brady Gill. Cole Nelson, where's Cole Nelson at? Come on down here, Cole. Pick a number out of the bucket. He's got the Ronnie Johnson shirt on. That's got to be good for something. Two. Starting two. So outside pole for Cole Nelson. Cole, how's your day going so far here at the Sunflower? Well, luck's been on my side because if Matt Perry hadn't wrecked or got wrecked, there was no way I was getting into it. So we'll take what we can get and uh, go to finish the race. Well, you got the highest number so far in the bucket. Uh, we haven't figured out who's going to start inside you yet. How do you feel about your chances from the outside of row number one? Not good. <laughs> Not good. All right. So optimistic, Cole Nelson, he's going to start second. Brandon Jacobson, come on down, Brandon. Brandon, no stranger to go-karts. He used to turn a lot of laps at the Lebanon Valley kart track back in the day. And he's here with the McAuliffe. Today he's going to start spot number eight. Brandon, come on back here. Where do you think you're going? Come on. No interview, you're getting DQ'd. Right now, you're not ready. He's shy. He's scared of men. Hold on, Marty, I got him. John's gonna, John's gonna make him get over here. Listen, Brandon, you've been all over the place. You've raced on two wheels, on four wheels, high off the ground, not so high off the ground. Um, what do you think? I mean, you're back in a go-kart. It's been a while, but you're off to a pretty good start. Yeah, um, I didn't realize these are that much fun, so I'm going to have my own cart for next year, maybe a couple more. And we start deep, but we'll see what we can do. Well, there you go. Brandon Jacobson, he is going to start in spot number eight here in the Sunflower 50. Tomek Kowalczyk, here we go. Come on out here. Now, this is, I've seen this spelled a couple different ways today, so is it right? Am I Kowalczyk? Yeah. Okay, all right, perfect. Where's it going to start? Spot number six for Kowalczyk. What do you think? Outside of row number three, uh, the top has held its own today. Rob's been putting the water to it. Do you want to be on the top, or would you wish you were down on the bottom? Probably the bottom. You think you're going to be able to fight your way down there? We'll see. Well, Kowalczyk's going to try to get it done. He's going to start outside row number three. Matt Chavis, where's Matt Chavis? They all like to walk far. They do, they all like to walk far, Rob says. Matt Chavis, uh, certainly everyone is welcome here, but you might be the guy people least wanted to see show up here today. Um, this is a little bit different than your usual game, though. You got these big side dams on the cart. How are you liking things today? This is a blast, I'm having a blast. I appreciate these guys for putting it on. Tracks better than 90% of the go-kart tracks we race at in the state of New York. Just being honest. <laughs> well, uh, go ahead and reach into the bucket. Let's figure out where you're going to start. The pole. This be he, oh, my goodness. Yeah. There it is. See? Number one for Matt Chavis. Matt, hang on a second. I got one more question for you. <laughs> one thing I happen to notice watching the heat races uh, that I've been telling people is you're the only guy here today out of the you know 40 some odd go-karts that we have you actually have an interesting strategy tackling this racetrack you let off the gas pedal before you hit one of the billboards can you tell us about that it generally helps to get around the corner if you lift a little and let it get itself set okay so when everybody calls you a cheater later on we'll remind them that you're the only guy that lets off the gas right about here instead of you know way over there exactly. matt chavis on the pole for the sunflower 50. ryan pepicelli come on over here Ryan's going to reach into the bucket. Let's see what we got. The driver of car number 03 is going to start in spot number nine. Ryan, inside row, that's probably a good thing. What do you think? Yeah, I'm liking it better than the outside. Well, I tell you what, um, we certainly appreciate having you here with us today for the Sunflower 50. What's been your favorite part about things so far today? Uh, the atmosphere and the racing has just been a lot of fun. Like, Ready to go. Well, there you go. That's what it's all about. Fun here. Ryan Pepicelli going to start ninth in the Sunflower 50. Ray Poole. Ray Poole, come on over here, buddy. Ray, reach on into the bucket. We got some good numbers left in there. We got a couple bad ones left in there, too. And you're going to walk away with number seven. Ray, when your heat race first got going, it kind of looked like Tanner Warner was going to eat you alive, but then uh, you held him off and drove away from him. Were you surprised at uh, how fast you were? Uh, yeah, really. I was just off the bottom and didn't let up. And just kept going. Well, you're going to be on the bottom, so I think you got a pretty good shot. Good luck to you in the feature. Ray Poole starting at spot number seven. What's left in there for Tanner Warner? All right, Tanner, come on over here. Tanner, this is Tanner's first interview ever. 
Tanner, we're going to start fourth in the Sunflower 50, uh, and everybody wants to know, where's your dad? Oh, I think he's on his way walking here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, Tanner, you're going to be on the outside row, but you are going to be in the second row, so you think you're going to be able to get down in time, or do you think by the time you can hit the bottom, you'll be 20th? I don't know. I hope I can get down there. Uh, we're either going to win or send it in the sunflowers, so let's go. All right, there we go. Tanner Warner, we're either going to win or put it in the sunflowers, he said. So there is your starting lineup, your top 10 for the Sunflower 50. So there's a surprise that we came up with this year that we decided to do to throw a little <laughs> more excitement after the redraw. This year we're going to invert the top 10. So whoever drew one will start 10th. Did you write any of this stuff down? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. And Perfect. whoever drew 10th will be starting first. So. Wherever you thought you were, you either just went forward or stayed the same or went backwards. Carl, former head starter, high atop the flag stand at the Lebanon Valley Speedway. Now slings pool supplies out of his Done Better Pools and Spa store in East Greenbush, New York. What did I do, Carl says. What didn't you do? Carl, come on, I'm on a court, so you gotta come to me here. Carl, we just wanted to bring you down in front and have you kind of turn around and let everyone see your handsome face. Can we get another round of applause for Carl, ladies and gentlemen, for making the donation to the Crossroads Center for Children. We had a uh, best appearing cart voting, which as I understand is completed, and we have our winner. And inside this bag is a prize for our winner. And I don't see this gentleman. Oh, there he is, way back there. Uh, the best appearing card goes to Travis Colgrove with the Jumpin' Jack. Jack Johnson tribute ride. And in this bag is a prize. Judging by the way, I think these guys treat Travis. I don't know if I would open that bag, but. Tra yeah, man, Rob gets right away from it. Don't look in the bag. Travis, what's in the bag? <laughs> That's pretty cool right there. All right, Travis Colgrove, best appearing car today at the Sunflower 50, everybody. That's pretty neat right there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take you through your starting lineup for the third annual Sunflower 50, race for the cause benefiting the Crossroads Center for Children. Starting 24th, driving the DKM Fabrication, car number 31, it's going to be Johnny Dumond. Inside row number 12, driving car number 69, 23rd starting spot on the grid for the Sunflower 50, it's going to be Colin Ainsworth. Row 11 on the outside out of East Greenbush, driving the Swagger Factory Apparel, Done Better Pools and Spas, car number 21H, this is the thrilling David Schilling. And to the inside of him, inside row 11, and a Boston Spa with the Pizza Logs, car number one, it's Mike Coffey Jr. Row 10th on the outside, starting 20th. Driving the X, that's going to be E.J. McAuliffe. And on the inside of him, starting 19th in the zero, is Dave Constantino. Diamond Dave starts inside row number 10. Row number nine on the outside, starting 18th. Car number 25, originally. That is going to be Tyler Ducharme. And at the inside of him in car number 74, the hometown kid, that is Matt Perry. Row eight on the outside, starting 16th in car number 438. That's quick Nick, Nick Scavia. Scavia starts 16th. And inside of him in car number 292, the next generation roofing entry, that is Marty Poole. Row seven on the outside, starting 14th in car number six, that's Paul Nagus. Paul Nagus starts in spot number 14, car number six. Inside him in the 1B, that's Brett Mortensen. Mortensen starts 13th. Row six on the outside, starting in spot number 12, driving car number four, the McAuliffe Racing Entry. This is Brian Nelson. And down to the inside of him, driving car number 405, that is Twister, Travis Whitbeck. And now your top 10 starters. On the outside of row number five, originally out of Rockingham, North Carolina, now making its home up here in the Empire State. Driving car number zero one, it's going to be Matt Chavis. 
Chavis starts 10th. Inside, row number five, starting spot number nine. Driving car number 26H, that is Cole Nelson. Outside, row number four, starting eighth. In car number one, the Fort Johnson, New York driver, that is Eric EJ Fast Track Mack. Eric Mack starts eighth. Inside of him in the win one, car number, pardon me, just said that. Starting seventh, that is Tanner Warner. Row three on the outside, starting sixth. The Lakeside Outdoors, car number 51 is Brady Gill. Gill starts sixth. Can we get that on there? Right now? It won't. Now starting in spot number five, inside row number three, the double zero M, that is Tomek Kowalchuk. Outside row number two, car number 67, the next generation roofing ride number 67 is Ray Poole. And inside of him starting third in the 234, it's Brandon Jacobson. And now your front row starters on the outside of row number one with the 03, the Pepicelli Motorsports entry, this is Ryan Pepicelli. And starting on the inside of row number one out of West Sand Lake, New York, in the SNS Asphalt Paving, Reifenberg Construction, car number 115, the Sand Lake Slingshot, Chip Constantino. That's your starting field for the third annual Sunflower 50 race for the cause, benefiting the Crossroads Center for Children. Oh, thank you. Stand right here. See if we can move this back a little bit yep. now. Yep. Just a little bit as far to close to the table. Perfect. Yeah, right there. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, I didn't even realize we took all that. Take all that stuff, we're good. Hey, Jimmy. Twenty-four carts looking to go fifty laps for all the bragging rights on the front row. Brandon Jacobson and Ray Poole in row number two. Joe Mack Kowalcha and Brady Gill in row number three. Tanner Warner and Eric Mack in row number four. Cole Nelson and Matt Chavis in row number five. On, row number six on the inside, Travis Whitbeck and Brian Nelson. Row number seven, Brett I'm Mortensen. Gonna move this way. They're going to trip over your corner. Okay, perfect. Let me go green. I'm going to light them up. The field getting into four wide formation now. Splitting into even rows of uh, as many as they can. This place is not wide enough in some spots. The High Tower Farms, Perry Sunflower Maze proudly presents the corn shaking, chain rattling beasts of the Northeast, the Northeast Mod Predator Carts. 24 carts slated to go 50 laps. For all the marbles in the biggest make believe go kart race in all the land. on Matt Chavis. Trouble right now for Marty Poole. Poole needs a start. And his teammate Ray Poole is off the back straight away into the pit area. So things are not good early on for the next generation roofing team cars. 
Bull gets fired back up. But once again, keep your eyes on Matt Chavis, just about a career go-kart racer and winner. Chavis, right now bumped up to eighth spot with Ray Poole ducking off the raceway. And now trouble for EJ McAuliffe also off track. Next time by the Sunflower 50 will be looking for green but trouble with Arnie Poole. Poole can't get going. We're still going to try to go green. Chip Constantino and Ryan Pepicelli going to bring the field to Joe Chris's green flag and the Sunflower 50 is underway. Trouble on lap number one. Brandon Jacobson and Travis Wickback are around and that's going to bring out yellow. Yellow lights are on down here in front. As caution flag bars the first lap of the Sunflower 50, the race director Rob Perry directed the drivers to use their head. 50 laps still to go in this one. Green flag next time by Chip Constantino and Ryan Pepicelli, Tomek Kowalchuk and Brady Gill. Eric Mack and Tanner Warner, Matt Chavis, Paul Nagus. Brian Nelson and Nick Scavia, the top 10. As we get ready to try again for the Sunflower 50, race for the cause. Green flag back out in the air. Chip Constantino going to lead the way down through turn number one and two. Constantino, the early leader, Pepicelli. Oh, trouble, big trouble in turn number three. And in turn number four. Ryan Pepicelli and Matt Perry. Turned around at the exit of turn number four. And now trouble for Tyler Ducharme. Ducharme ducking into the hot pit. The head starter, Joe Chris, sends down the signal to double him up, and it's going to be a single final restart. Two cautions without getting a lap in. So the Sunflower 50 get a start under single file, and now there's trouble for Brian Nelson. Nelson and Mike Coffey both needing pull starts here. Oh, and trouble for Eric Mack. Mack is stalled as well. And now Mack gets it refired. Coffey will fire off as well. And starter Joe Chris. Right here in front. Get him ready to work the single file start. For the Sunflower 50, Chip Constantino is going to be the leader. Coffey trying to get it fired up again right here. So trying to go green next time by out of turn number four. Here's Perry to try to give Mike Coffey Jr. a hand. And we'll be going green next time by trying to get this race underway. Chip Constantino and Brady Gill. This time out of turn number four, Constantino on the gas, the green flag is back out. And the yellow is out once again. Oh, trouble, Chip Constantino turns it around. Constantino turns it around once the caution was already out. Oh, 
trouble for Paul Vegas. Down in turn number one, brings out the yellow. Vegas and I believe Brandon Jacobson have both gone around. Twenty-one cards still left on the racetrack here. Once again, trying for a single mile restart. Chip Constantino, Brady Gill, Eric Mack, the top three. Green flag back out in the air. Davis inside, Tanner Warner. Warner trying to cross him over. Clean and green, putting lap number one on the board, finally. Man on the move is David Schilling. Tanner Warner, big trouble. Tomek to Waltschuk. Collects Brett Morrison. And now Chavis is also around. Double zero, Atomic Kowalchuk. Turns around and collects a couple of cars right here in front. Green flag back out in the air. Chavis is fourth, the thrilling David Schilling, already up to spot number five. So $500 well spent by David Schilling's father, Carl. The donation to Crossroads Center for Children has Schilling up in the top five. Jacobson is sixth, Tanner Warner seventh, Brett Mortensen is eighth. Brian Nelson ninth, 10th spot right now, Diamond Dave, Dave Constantino. So the brothers Constantino bookending the top 10 right now as we go back to green in the Sunflower 50, hang on, Eric. Mack trying to get a jump on the outside lane. And all that did was open the door and let Chavis go by and open the door for Schilling now as well. Trouble for Colin Ainsworth. Ainsworth in the infield and he's done for the dead. Now here's Chavis to the inside of Brady Gill. The battle for second goes to Chavis. Hang out, Brady. Gill up here in the hay and that brings Schilling into third spot and Mack to fourth. This spot right now is still held by Gill. The long hauler from Western New York trying to stay with it up in the front. Hang on, Dave. Diamond Dave Constantino goes around. And Constantino throws in the towel. Back up front, Matt Chavis. Trouble for Tyler Ducharme. Ducharme turned around, collecting Eric Mack. And nobody else. It's a half a miracle that Ducharme did not collect anybody else.
signal goes down to double hook. Matt Chavis going to be up on the outside of Constantino here. So it'll be interesting to see if Chavis can use the outside lane to take the spot from Constantino. Schilling right now running third. The inside lane is where you want to be. The top side not as good. So this restart should be interesting. Can Schilling get by Chavis for second? Or will Chavis take the lead away from Constantino? They're on the gas and the green's back out. Schilling to second. Gill on the inside of Chavis. Oh, trouble. Brett Lawrence and into the hay bales. Green flag is still out. Yeah, now yellow. Now the yellow comes out. Johnny Dumont and Paul Nagus get together, collecting Cole Nelson and Ryan Pepicelli down there in turn number one. And the caution came out for Brett Morrison in the 1B. And now Schilling in second for the single file restart. Double file restarts, unless we cannot complete a lap following a restart. And that condition that has just occurred is gonna bring us back to another single file restart. Here's your running order. Chip Constantino, David Schilling, Matt Chavis, Brady Gill, Eric Mack, the top five. Brandon Jacobson, Tanner Warner, Matt Berry, six, seven, and eight. Ryan Nelson, nine, Nick Scavia, 10. Travis Whitbeck, John DeMott, Paul Nagus, Ryan Pepicelli, Cole Nelson, Brett Morrison, and Mike Coffey Jr. Green fly back out of the air. Hang on, Dilly! Brady Gill's in trouble. He will surrender a couple of spots. And the Warner comes up, moves on and giving his way up the inside lane. Here comes Brian Nelson trying to get under Warner for six. Over here right now is Constantino. Chavis trying to track down Schilling for second. Schilling keeping the door closed on him. Schilling to the number two spot. Schilling trying desperately to get that door closed. Davis right on the back bumper. As they went to the corners, he puts the bumper right to Schilling. And can I get a move? And there he goes. Davis defeated Schilling's back bumper off, and Schilling shuts the door on Eric Mack and turns himself around. And the yellow lights are back out. So Chavis has been beating Schilling's back bumper off. And the call goes down to send Eric Mack to the back and Mack decides to take a swipe at Robert Perry for it. Well, they were about side by side and Schilling shut the door on Eric Mack and turned himself around and Mack said, you're not gonna send me to the back, I'm gonna run you right over. But there goes Fast Track Mack, he drops to the back, and now he becomes Back Pack Mack. So from Fast Track to the back of the pack, Eric Mack in the Auto Palace number one car, gonna have his work cut out for him. <laughs> 17 cards still on the racetrack, Chip Constantino, your leader. Matt Chavis, and now Matt Perry up to third. Brady Gill is fourth and Travis Whitback is fifth. Scavia sixth, Dumont seventh, Nagus eighth, Nelson ninth, and Brett Mortensen rounding out the top ten. Chippy's on the gas and we're back underway in the Sunflower Pit. Matt Chavis on the back bumper of Chip Constantino now. your eyes on Schilling and Mack trying to work their way up from the back. And now here's Matt Chavis inside Chip Constantino. A battle for the lead right here in front. A new race leader for the first time today. Rockingham, North Carolina's Matt Chavis goes to the front in the Sunflower 50. 
into the infield. Looks like maybe something of this. We're looking at the tires. Trying to figure out what the problem could be. Something doesn't feel right and it looks like something on the right rear. So that's going to be the end of the afternoon for Matt Perry. The Sunflower Seed is not going to finish the Sunflower 50 with what I presume is a bent right rear wheel. Matt Chavis, Chip Constantino, the front row, the new third place drivers, Travis Whitbeck, Nick Scavia, John Dumont, Paul Nagus, Brett Morris, and David Schilling, Ryan Pepicelli, Eric Mack, the top 10 as we go back to green in the Sunflower 50, back underway. Here's Chippy looking inside Chavis, but he can't quite make it work. Chavis will resume as your leader. Outside of John Devon, three wide down the back straightaway. Paul Nagus will have to surrender at the halfway point. 25 are in, 25 to go. Trouble again for Nagus, and now a big stack, a big stack of the yellows out. And now Chip Constantino goes around under the yellow. This is pure chaos right now at the halfway point. 25 are in, 25 to go. The race leader is Matt Chavis, driving the finish line chaplaincy, car number 01. And now a flat right front tire for Eric Mack is going to end his day aboard the Auto Palace Phil Chevrolet number one car. So Mack with a flat tire. Davis and Chip on the front row. Travis Whitback and Nick Scavia, David Schilling back up to fifth. John Dumont is sixth. Brett Mortensen and Paul Nagus, row number four. Ryan Pepicelli, Tanner Warner, ninth and tenth. Eleventh is Brandon Jacobson. Twelfth is Cole Nelson in the number 26. Coffee thirteenth and now Gill 14. 14 cars left on the racetrack. Does anybody have anything for Matt Chavis? Hang on, hang on. Brett Morrison not coming. The speed of the yellow light. Brett Morrison's engine quit coming to the green flag and that brings out the yellow for about the 11th time today. Brett Morris are going to be pushed to the infield, and that's going to do it. So 13 left on the racetrack right now. And a double final restart on deck here, because that was not a yellow, it was a no-start situation. So Jameis and Chip Constantino still the front row. Keep your eyes on Brady Gill. Gill now going to come from 13th, but he's had one of the better cards all day. Schilling back up to fifth. He's come from the back twice. So the green flag coming back out of the air. And the Sunflower 50 is back underway. Chip 
with Constantino trying to hang with Javis on the outside lane, and I tell you what, did a pretty good job of it. Javis not pulling away just yet. Schilling still fit, trying to track down look at it before. are starting to breathe a little bit. Some of the congestion removed from the race track. Jeff Constantino maybe starting to overdrive the car a little bit, try to find something to track down Javis. He might be in danger of falling into the next Scabia's one. Scabia all over the back of Constantino trying to take second spot away. Big in wider and wider with his line at a turn number four. Keep your eyes on Constantino. He's no longer able to keep the car down. And once again, lap traffic about to become a factor. David's going to come up on Mike Coffey Jr. to put him a lap down. Coffee on the bottom, he's right in Javis' way. Javis gets around him. Oh, hang on, Mike! Coffee gonna go to the infield and then right back on the race track. Hang on, Chipper. Constantino. Now just inches in front of Scavia. Scavia trying to get around him. Javis to the inside of Cole Nelson in last track. Javis inside Javis now as well. Trying to put a lap on Brady Jim. Scavia trying to catch up Constantino. Continuing to watch Matt Javis work the lap traffic. Put as many carts as possible between him and Matt. Ten laps left to go. Jim Constantino got himself some breathing room over Nick Scavia. But for how long? Scavia right there. Jim trying to get by. Jacobson down the back straight away. Dumont going down a lap right now as well. Javis goes by Dumont. Here's Scavia inside Constantino and he's got to lift and let him go. Javis with a half track lead over Jim Constantino and Nick Scavia. Five laps to go this time by. Hang on, Paul Negus. Yellow, yellow, it's going to be out. Paul Negus. Yellow lights are on around the speedway. Paul Negus up into the hay bales on the front straightaway. And that's going to bring out yellow. Carts left on the racetrack here. Double file restart inside of five laps to go. Chavis on the inside, a chip down from Tito on the outside. Nick Scavia, third. Travis Whitbeck, fourth. Oh, trouble. David Schilling is off the racetrack. So Schilling is out here late in the going. Fifth is now Cole Nelson. Green flag back out in the air here. Oh, three wide for second. Scavia, Whitbeck, and Constantino in a dogfight for runner-up. Whitbeck hits the hay bale. They're still messing around in the back. But it's all behind Matt Chavis. Chavis 
Jason's got it figured out. Two laps left to go. For Matt Chavis. And now the white flag. White flag for Chavis, Davia, Constantino, Whitbeck, Emicelli. Your top five. Checkered flag, Matt Chavis wins the Sunflower 50. Nick Scavia, Chip Constantino, Travis Whitback, Ryan Pepicelli, Brady Gill, Cole Nelson, Tanner Warner, Mike Coffey, Brandon Jacobson, John Dumont, and Matt Chavis will go to victory lane in the Sunflower 50. Want to bring this as close as we can get it again? Hold on one sec, we're gonna get around this leg here. Thanks guys, I really appreciate it. So Matt Chavis, originally a mid-coast from North Carolina guy, up here in the Empire State. And in victory lane for the Sunflower 50 over Nick Scavia. Nasty Nick. Nasty Nick. A go-kart racer of many years. A sportsman feature event winner at the Fonda Speedway. Him and Chip Constantino rounding out the podium. Matt going to get the sunflower and the flower pot trophy. The checkered flag and Matt. Uh, Where's the pitcher? Yeah. We're shaking hands. We love you, man. Your back is to us, dumbass. Jeffrey Ferguson, Jeff Carava, and Brittany Nelson all going to get a couple of pictures. Bill McGaffin going to get a couple of pictures down here as well. Rob Perry, the promoter. Matt Chavis, the winner. And Matt, come on over here. I'm on the cord, so I can't come very far. But uh, tell you what, uh, the invert after the redraw made that race a lot harder on you than we initially thought it was going to be. But then some of the attrition made it easier. I mean, you actually got to start eighth. You got to move up one row immediately. Um, and you got to move up a couple more spots before we finally completed a green flag lap. Tell us about that last restart, the caution with about uh, three or four laps to go. At that point, uh, Nick Scavia was right behind you. And he had probably the best chance it looked like out of anybody to get you. I didn't want to see that. <laughs> I'd gotten in a groove. It was just really hooked up. and. I really didn't want to see a caution, but it all worked out. Um, I'm so thankful for these guys putting it on. It's a great cause. Glad we could be a part of it. Uh, I thank my crew, everybody that came, my wife, Dave, Bud, um, RJ, and Jake, everybody that came out and helped us. It's just a great family time. I'm glad we could just all be here. And thanks for my in-laws for coming too. Well, I <laughs> wanted to ask you real quick, uh, you know, when we started the racing today, the full sun and everything with the exception of kind of the shade on the front stretch, but we got through the 50-50 and the driver intros and stuff and the sun went down. Did the track develop any way different from what you were maybe expecting? I mean, I talked to you earlier and you said this was, you know, better than most of the tracks in New York that uh, that you race at. So how did the surface shape up today compared to maybe what you were expecting? Actually, it started to actually take a little bit of bite there after the sun went down and we started putting a lot of laps on it. It actually bit up a little more than what it was, a little dry slick before. So it made it a little better and a little easier to drive, honestly. Yep. Well, Matt Chavis in victory lane here today in the Sunflower 50. Ladies and gentlemen, give him a hand, Matt Chavis. <laughs> Nick Davia, come on down here. Nick, uh, first of all, congratulations on a job well done here today. Uh, you know, black and orange, you got your colors. The number's off, but uh, I tell you what, how do you feel about the race today? 
That was a lot of fun. Uh, I'd never done this before, you know, coming into it this year. Uh, ben Rizicki put everything together for me, so, you know, I don't have one one minute of time invested in this thing, and, you know, he, he does a good job, comes out bad fast right out of the gate, but I don't think I had anything for the Chavis machine. He was pretty fast tonight, but overall pretty happy, you know, hell of a turnout here and for a good cause. You coming back next year? If I can put myself together a car, I don't know if Ben's going to want to let me run this one now, but uh, if I can get a car together next year, I definitely will. There you go. All right, Nick Scavia, second place today in the Sunflower 50. Where's Chipper? Come on over here, Chip. Chip, I tell you what, you led a lot of laps today, and uh, you had the front row starting spot, which helped you out, but, man, you really did a good job holding your own, and... and uh, you really weren't that far off Matt either. I mean, it took him a while to kind of get away from you on some of the restarts. What do you think you were missing? If I had to bet, Matt knew he had 50 laps. Because that's what I was doing on my phone in the caution, trying to figure out how many laps were left. Because I was like, all right, I know I know he's good. My car has been sitting on the pine tree for the past six months. Um, we got it out, we cleaned it up a little bit. And I, I'm okay with where we're at. Yeah. yeah. How about it? Well, you said next year your daughter's going to drive the big car. What about the Sunflower ride? She'll have that too. Uh, she'll have yeah. that too. So Chip's Chip's last ride, everybody. Chip's last call right here in front. And he goes off top uh, 10, or, top 10 uh, or 11. Rob says final official finishing order. Matt Chavis, of course, the winner. Nick Scavia, Chip Constantino, joining him on the podium. Travis Whitbeck, I believe, first career go kart race for Travis Whitbeck. Fourth place. Ryan Pepicelli, fifth. Brady Gill, sixth. Cole Nelson, seventh. Mike Coffey, Jr., eighth. Tanner Warner, ninth. Brandon Jacobson, tenth. John Dumond, last car running in 11th. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We'd like to thank you for joining us today on behalf of everybody here at Hightower Farms. We'd like to thank you all for your donations to the Crossroads Center for Children. We can't wait to see you all back here next year at the fourth annual Sunflower 50 Race for the Cause, benefiting Crossroads Center for Children.